On a wet night in Waterford City, a queue forms outside the DePaul Hostel. These are people desperate for emergency accommodation. And this is what they're queuing for. A double camp bed turned over daily in the sitting room. Such is the demand, it's first come, first served. We've seen, certainly in the South East in general, but particularly in Waterford, um, you know, a real significant increase in, in the price of, of private rented accommodation, and again, particularly for single people. Um, and that's, you know, one of the biggest reasons that people are citing um, as they access the services here. Once a homeless hostel for men, this DePaul facility has now opened its doors to women due to the shortage of dedicated accommodation for them in the southeast. Ellen has benefited from the expansion of the service, but she's the only woman living full time in the accommodation with over 30 men. They are a sound bunch of lads. There's nothing to be frightened of. That kind of everyone sticks up for everyone. But I think the homelessness down in water is. It's getting crazy. I feel like there should be more funding for places like this. A little bit more help on it. DePaul staff working on the ground are worried about the growing number of women facing homelessness or who are in hidden homelessness. To access services, they often give their children over to family or friends. There is a stigma. Um, attached to maybe entering homelessness with your children. Often they will leave their children in the care of grandparents or you know, other family members because there really isn't um, the, the availability of accommodation for full families. DePaul's objective is to help people move from homeless services into housing, but in the current climate it's very difficult and all the signs are that the homeless situation for women in particular is going to get worse. Alva Keneally, RTE News.